What is going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today we're going to talk to you about Palantir, give you a quick overview of some of the data points, what's moving it, and what analysts have recently been doing uh, in regards to their upcoming Q3 earnings. So I want to go over all the things that you need to know, but first make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. Currently it is up 3.01%. There was a new 52 week high done today, $45.07. This stock is an absolute beast. Low for today is 43.65 and kind of low volume though. So 38.44 million shares being traded, 65.6 is the average. These are some of the transactions that are occurring so far on the secondary market above $100,000. So a fair share of uh, big money getting in. You can even see right here, this is what really propelled it higher to that new high. So yeah, big money cannot get enough of Palantir and when it comes to the recent news a lot of good partnerships I think a lot of that is just kind of the norm now but I think the next big big catalyst for Palantir is going to be their earnings so slated for November the 4th currently nine cents is that earnings per share 703.69 million is that revenue estimate over the last 90 days 11 positive zero negative revisions to the earnings per share and this is what I wanted to kind of talk on so quickly popping over to IBKR you don't see uh, that much crazy analyst ratings um, as of late so last one was done four days ago initiated coverage CICC is a firm uh, eight days ago 30 dollars sell rating by Mizuo Greg who has a 58% or 57% success rating but ultimately analysts can change their estimates without actually changing the ratings and that is exactly what did happen so no change to the earnings per share on a side note this is a lot of the other good kind of key metrics that uh investors essentially do care about but talking on revenue previously it was 679.19 million so essentially analysts did change it from that 679 to now 703 million so analysts became a little bit more optimistic on their upcoming earnings on the flip side i guess that could potentially make it a little bit more difficult for palantir to beat um, as much as they did especially last earnings 25.71 million over the kind of estimate but aside from that i think that based on what palantir has been doing and the growth analysts will be more caring and focusing on their future guidance rather than anything but still i just wanted to bring that up the fact that analysts are becoming a little bit more optimistic and so aside from that though the only negative side of today especially with lower volume is shorts shorts are starting to wake up a little bit more with palantir and even though like shorts and palantir haven't really gone hand in hand like there's never been really heavily shorted uh, it's still good to analyze. So by shorts increasing over the last couple of trading days, it shows that they feel either on a macro standpoint or specific to Palantir, it's a little bit topped. So this is where once again, Palantir, if they hit a home run earnings in roughly a week and a half, this is where they can propel to the 50 plus dollar range. That's what the LE wave technicals are projecting. So 3.99% is that free float. So of course, Palantir isn't a squeeze play. You see some signs of manipulation though because cost to borrow minimum is negative negative 0 0.07 so meaning there is brokers out there physically paying people to short palantir kind of crazy stuff if you uh, think about it but 82.11 million shares overall are being shorted and that works out to be around 3.57 billion dollars so a lot of money is uh, essentially in palantir more pretty much then some companies even have a market cap but utilization is 6.68 percent once again just for transparency purposes palantir is not a squeeze play just bringing this up more so for analysis purposes and just the blatant manipulation that is uh, right here aside from that looking at options 66 million dollars in calls 16 million in puts so a lot of money is getting into palantir through options not necessarily common stock today but 43 percent of all the options being done so far are optimistic and bullish and of the call options that are being purchased you see a consensus for it to be roughly around that 47 dollar range by the end of next week and encumbering their earnings you see some optimism around that 50 dollar range and that seems to be pretty much it for right now and then looking at puts on the flip side you see a consensus during that same week for it to be looks like around sub 40 dollars so 
in my opinion, a lot more upside is anticipated. And it's kind of interesting to see people hedging for Palantir earnings. The lowest they think it could go is sub $40. So yeah, something interesting to note. But aside from that, moving on right now with it at $44.92, it is trading between this R1 and R2. So $44.11 is going to be that strong support. And then $45.06 is going to be the next strong resistance slash target, which there's about an hour and a bit left in the trading day on a Friday, so we'll wait and see. It does look like it wants to test this R2. Uh, so yeah, pretty interesting stuff, and ultimately that's where it did bounce off of for that 52-week high. So Palantir right now is just following the technicals. Quickly going back over to here, uh, just to look at the charts. So I do have the ALMA super trend, 50, 100, and 200 day moving averages, stochastic RSI, and MACD. So Right now, everything is looking primed and ready for it to continue to move higher. And so, like I said, the LA Wave technicals are projecting for Palantir to still hit that $50 range, whether it goes up naturally just because of this or macro events or potentially their own specific earnings kind of just uh, speeds it up a little bit. But Palantir is a absolute beast. And the fact that shorts feel bold enough to really kind of increase at these levels it's uh it's interesting right so we'll wait and see whether they are going to get their asses handed to them or essentially they are making the right call so let me know your thoughts would you short palantir right here at the 52 week high or do you think that there is a lot more room for it to go up so let me know your thoughts don't forget to hit that thumbs up give yourself a shout out if you have been buying if you've been selling what have you been doing with palantir quickly going over here pulling up palantir for a second Based on this, it does show retail is still buying into Palantir, and it looks like they've been buying ever since September the 6th. So if you are part of that group, give yourself a shout out in the comments. If not, um, have you been dabbling with options or what have you been doing? And then two final things, take advantage of this promo because it is free stocks. It gives you eight free shares. Each share is valued up to $2,000. That is a kick-ass deal. And then aside from that, if you do like my channel, want to support the growth, you can definitely do so by joining as a member. Or if you just want buy signals on options and stocks, I have a tier for that as well. With all that, appreciate all of you watching.